Alright guys, Edwin Fruit Dude Division here, and I'm here to tell you guys that thanks to all of you 46, yes, 46 people in the clan, let me just check my tablet, no, 47, sorry, sorry, I got that wrong, 47, you probably won't be able to see that, and it's also inverted, but, uh, can you see that? 47 members we have, 47 members, now, I think that's amazing, it's really inspired me to do a challenge I thought we should do. That's a very big challenge, it's going to require a lot of um, preparation and, well, ideas and things like that. But the idea is a tournament. Now it's a clan-wide clan tournament, especially since there isn't anything like Clan Wars, like Clash of Clans has. It's just something that the clan can do together rather than just donating cards, talking and doing friendly battles. It's going to involve using friendly battles to have a tournament, see who's the best member or something like that. So I thought today I would tell you guys the rules of the tournament and perhaps you know, you guys can give your suggestions how to improve, edit them, get them a bit better. And we have until Easter holiday for my school, which is, well, I don't know the exact date, but it's a couple of weeks at the very least. So, I'm here today, guys, to tell you, um, well, to tell you the rules, basically, and, um, and as we go through them, of course, you guys can comment in the comment section to say that you're in the challenge, and I'd like to tell you the level and trophies, and we'll get into that in a very in a short amount of time. But as well as that, um... Well, there isn't much else to say, actually. So let's go on to the rules. Alright guys, I don't know if you can read that, but here we go. We're going to go through these rules one by one. So number one, qualifying entries, um, qualifying entry placings. So when you start in the bracket, which is down here, the image I have. Yeah, so I know it's got perhaps, you know, chances of being copyright, but you know, YouTube, I didn't make this. I was lazy and just, I'm a lazy 15 year old who found um, an elimination bracket off the internet. So here's, this is kind of the diagram. You can imagine like each person would be placed here. It's 16 person, but that's um, subject to change if more than 16 people join. Especially since we have 47 people, we could have three times that amount. So, qualifying entries, um, as in the first entries for the original rounds, they'll primarily be based on XP level that you have, but if XP levels are the same, which they will be, we'll use the trophies to determine exactly who you'll go up against. However, it will still be random, and it will be mostly pulled out of a hat. Um, obviously, you must be in the clan, the clan to qualify, otherwise you can't do a friendly battle, so you're unable to take part, obviously, that's what it's, it kind of goes without saying. Um, a way to make it a bit more fair, your deck is not allowed to contain uh, more, no more than two epic cards, no more than three rares, and you can have all the commons you want to fill up the rest of the spaces, or just have, you can have a full common deck if you want, but you know, that depends on what you want. Um, certain cans, cards will be um, banned altogether, but to determine the, determine what exactly should be banned, you should comment on the video, but things I think should be banned, straight up, should be princes and balloons, because I think at our stage, well, most people's stage in the clan, I do think that those are two very overpowered cards. Princes you can just rush with, you can counter them, but I think they're a bit overpowered overall, and balloons, because there isn't many counters to them. Comment if you think that shouldn't be true, and of course comment on other cards you think should be banned. It is all, this can change. Um, you can't have any cards that are above Pekka Playhouse, there's only one person in the clan that can get Pekka Playhouse. So you can have anything, anything in the Barbarian the barbarian Bowl Arena, yeah, it says here, Barbarian Bowl Arena and below. Any other cards are not allowed, so you're not allowed things that you can find in Pekka Playhouse like Minion Horde, Hog Rider, for example, things like that. Um, if we're going to have, as I say, we're going to have 16 people in the tournament, we believe, but we will add more. We'll expand it if more people will join, and that's fine. And you're only, if you have a second account, which, to be fair, there's a significant amount of people that have second accounts, you're only allowed to bring one of them. So I've got my Eddie, um, my Eddie Unleashed account, and I've got Victini, and obviously I'm going to be playing Victini because, well, you know, then you guys can watch me play, and watch me in the tournament. And I'm not going to have Eddie Unleashed, Eddie Unleashed isn't going to be in the tournament. Um, and here you go, you can see right here the um, the kind of grid, um, as I've already shown you, and we'll put people randomly into this and I can make the grid a lot. I can make a grid myself for YouTube, so you don't have to copyright it, it's just about 15 year old kid, as I've already said. But, there you go. Um, I'll expand it if I need to. So I think that's really great. It's really good so far. Hopefully you guys can add to the rules. But, um, I don't know, is there anything I've missed? Um, be sure to comment, like and subscribe. Comment on, comment your your details if you're going to play, Com and we'll put you in the hat and put you down. Comment if you have any rules to add, comment if there are any that you think should be taken away, comment on cards that are overpowered and ones that should certainly stay. Any more rules, give us some ideas, comment, like and subscribe. I hope you join, 
the Clash Royale competition. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.